How are you holding up? I'm doing all right. I've seen better days, but you know, just being with the team every day has definitely helped us out. You know, it's made a lot of things easier. Uh, losing somebody in that room is obviously not something that we wanted. I don't wish that upon anybody, but we're making the best, and you know, we're doing what we think that he would want, and that's watching film, practicing, doing all that stuff. When you get the news, how does it hit you? You probably got it early Monday morning. Yeah, right after practice. So I, he wasn't at practice, so I called him in the locker room waiting to hear from him, and then went straight to voicemail. So I told my coach and uh, called his parents, and then we found out after practice. And that's all we know. Do you, so, have, do you have ways in your mind that you can, how to honor him? Yeah, I have a lot of ways. You know, I lived with him for a year and a half, and uh, you know, we kept his uh, spot in the meeting room. We haven't moved it. We haven't moved any of his stuff. We still give him every sheet that we get. So I think that that's something special. Let's just never forget about him. He's part of this team. He's part of the brotherhood. He's part of the offensive line bond. Uh, we still have his uh, locker still up. Everything, nothing's touched. You are. You were living with him yeah, recently, it was recently or recently, yeah. He moved out about two months ago to live with his cousin. Do you have a favorite story? Funny uh, story? Yeah. <laughs> he always used to hide chips in his room. I don't know if that's funny, but he's supposed to, it's not supposed to eat it. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to eat chips, but well you know. But uh, <laughs> the other thing too is just he always used to smile. Especially towards the end. He would always smile and I when I'm in practice, I'm very serious, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm really into everything, you know, I'm really hard on myself, and he would always look at me and tell me to smile, and that was something that I'll never forget from him. He seemed to tell me to smile, no matter how hard things got, no matter how tired I was, he always tell me to smile. I think that helped me as a player this year, especially, just having him next to me tell me to smile every day. You gonna smile more? Yeah, yeah, I will. Sorry. That's okay. How do you think he was coming along as a player? I think this was the most growth that he's made in a long time. Especially, he's doing really well. He's all snaps. He's playing really well. Because he was smiling, telling me to smile. I don't know, it's something I loved about him. He was always happy no matter what was going on. Sorry. I keep going back to that. It's just something really <laughs> no, special okay. to me. Is he a funny guy? In a weird yeah, way? he was just like his own funny. He just always. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain his jokes. They're just, you know, you either laughing at him or laughing with him because he's so stupid, you know, but he's a good kid. What's so, been uh, Coach uh, Rodriguez's message to you guys or your position coach, Coach uh, Mahalchik? Just remember him for who he was. Just remember him. The best things, he, like, we went upstairs, talked about him, like, the things that we loved about him and stuff like that, and I think that definitely helped. Was that the offensive line or the whatever? Offensive line, offensive yeah. Line? So we went upstairs and we sat there and we just kind of told stories to remember him by. And I think that that was definitely uh, that helped me the most because I was really, in, I was really, in, really in a tough place when it first hurt. And you know, coach, coach just came up to me and gave me hugs because I knew him really well. I knew his family really well. And I, yeah. So, yeah. Was that Monday night or last night? This was Monday night. We met. And we met as a team, and I think, and just being here, being with everybody, kind of just, you know, we still feel like he's here. You know, it's weird. I still, still, still can't believe that it happened. I still feel like he's gonna walk in this room, smiling at me. You know, I'm gonna walk in the locker room, see him sitting down, smiling. You know. How hard is it to focus on football when the time comes to do hard. that? It's hard. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say it's not hard. It's definitely hard, but to start, to start, to start. And, you know, when you sit in that meeting room and you see a spot there and he's not there, you know, a little piece he was missing. And it's hard to start a meeting. But once you're, you're in the meeting, you know, we always start. Usually we start saying something about that. And, then, you know, we kind of go into football. You know, it takes a couple minutes for me to get just from thinking about Zach and you know, switching my mind to football. But yeah, it's a little hard, sure. especially. Uh, I, I know you don't necessarily have a basis of comparison for this, but it strikes me that offensive linemen are particularly close to one another because yeah. of the way that you have to work together. Yeah, is, that, is that true? Is this a close-knit yeah. group, would you say? No, yeah, I think that our group upstairs is probably one of the closest groups that we've ever had here. There's an offensive line unit. 
you know, Zach, uh, and Zach was the center, and that's usually the leader of the offensive line. He's always, you hear him every play, give us a point, you know, and stuff like that. So, and he's always the one that, you know, is kind of like putting everything together for the offensive line, and then we make our calls. So, you know, he was always like the maestro of the offensive line, you know what I mean? Do you like the idea of getting on a bus and getting away for, even though it's only, you know, maybe 26, 27 hours? Yeah, I do. I know some guys don't, but I think that, you know, going there, I think is going to be something that we can, you know, just, you know, seeing his stuff is hard still. And I, I don't want to put that, I don't want to put it as a bad thing, but you know, I, just, I think going away and kind of, you know, what do you call it when you like, just fully understand everything about the, the situation. I think that that going away is going to help me with that. And, you know, you kind of get away and you kind of, you're not going home, you're going to a hotel with your team. And like I said, you know, being with the team has definitely helped everybody.